welcome to the Kiva Partner Academy. This lesson explains how to post a new loan for an individual borrower. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to use Kiva's Partner Admin System, PA2, to post a new loan for an individual borrower, and understand how the loan you post in PA2 will appear when it is published on Kiva's website. This lesson is intended for the Kiva coordinator and any other staff who will post loans. You should understand the five steps of how to post a new loan. Before we learn about PA2, let's take a quick look at how a loan appears when it is published on Kiva's website. Each month, Kiva's field partners post thousands of loans in PA2. These loans are then published on Kiva's website for lenders, located at www.kiva.org. Kiva lenders browse the loans and decide which ones they want to fund. It is important to remember that Kiva does not guarantee that loans posted on its website will be funded. Financing of a specific loan is entirely dependent on Kiva lenders choosing to fund that loan. On Kiva's website, each loan is represented by a borrower profile. Let's take a closer look at a borrower profile now. The borrower profile includes information about the borrower, including the borrower's name, location, photo, and personal story. It also includes information about the loan, including the loan amount, loan use, dispersal date, and repayment schedule. Kiva lenders use all of this information to decide whether or not they want to fund the loan, so it is important to make sure that all information is accurate. In addition, remember that Kiva lenders have thousands of loans to choose from, so it is important to make your loans stand out. A good photo, an interesting story, and a detailed loan use can help a loan fund more quickly. Now that we've seen how a loan looks once it is published, let's learn about the process of posting a new loan. Before you begin posting a new loan, make sure you have collected the following information for the borrower. A client ID, loan ID, given name, family name, gender, location, loan use and personal details, loan theme, dispersal date, loan amount, repayment schedule, and photo or video. The repayment schedule should be a CSV or Excel file that is formatted as follows. In column 1, collection date. In column 2, principal due. In column 3, interest due. We strongly recommend that you download or copy the repayment schedule directly from your organization's MIS or your database. However, if this is not possible, PA2 will allow you to generate a schedule by specifying the parameters of a repayment. Now that we have gathered all the information we need, let's watch a video demonstration of how to post a new loan in PA2. Note, this video was recorded in Kiva's test system, so please disregard the orange banner at the top. To begin the process of posting a new loan, log in to PA2 and click the New Loans tab. For the loan type, select Individual Loan. In the Client ID field, enter the ID that uniquely identifies the borrower in your organization's database. It is important to enter an accurate client ID so that you can easily track this borrower in PA2. In addition, a client ID enables you to relist this borrower should he or she take additional loans in the future. Note that some partners may not have access to relisting. In the Loan ID field, enter the ID that uniquely identifies the loan in your organization's database. It is important to enter an accurate loan ID so that you can easily track this loan and report repayments in PA2. Next, enter the borrower's given name, family name, and gender. The borrower's given name will appear on the profile that is published on the Kiva website. However, the family name will never be shared publicly. Next, select the borrower's location. This can be the location of the borrower's branch or the town or region where the borrower lives or works. If the borrower's location is not already available in the menu, you can add it by selecting the Add Another Town option. In the pop-up box, 
enter the town name and click the add new town button. We recommend that you keep the list of locations short in order to make it easier to pick the appropriate option in the future. The borrower's location will appear on the profile that is published on Giva's website. Next, select the sector and activity that most closely match the loan use. The sector and activity will appear on the profile that is published on Kiva's website. This information helps Kiva lenders find loans that they are interested in supporting. The language menu automatically defaults the primary language used for your borrower profiles. If you are writing this profile in a different language, please be sure to select the correct language. Next, you will see the beginning of a sentence that reads, This borrower will use this loan. Please continue this sentence with text that explains exactly how the borrower will use the loan. Begin with the word to, for example, to repair his taxi, or to buy fabric for her tailoring business. The loan use will appear on the profile that is published on Kiva's website, and is among the first pieces of information that Kiva lenders will see. Lenders need to understand exactly how the loan will be used, so please be as specific as possible and avoid vague statements such as, to expand the business, or to add working capital. Finally, write a detailed description about the borrower and the loan. The description will appear on the profile that is published on Kiva's website. Kiva lenders enjoy learning about the borrower's family, living situation, business, and hopes for the future. After you have finished entering all the information for Step 1, click the Save and Continue button to proceed to Step 2. On Step 2, Start by selecting the loan theme. Generally, a loan theme corresponds to a specific loan product offered by your organization. Each loan theme has a separate credit limit, so it is important to select the correct theme. If the loan does not fall under a theme, please select None. Next, select the dispersal date for the loan. The dispersal date can be no more than 30 days in the past or 90 days in the future. The dispersal date will appear on the profile that is published on the Kiva website. Next, select the currency of dispersal and enter the loan amount. The loan amount will be converted to US dollars for the profile that is published on the Kiva website. Next, enter the repayment schedule. If you have an Excel file with the schedule, you can copy and paste the schedule directly into PA2 and click the Apply Pasted Schedule button. If you have a CSV file with the schedule, click the Upload CSV File tab. Then click Choose File to select and upload the file. If you do not have an Excel or CSV file, you can generate a schedule by specifying the parameters of repayment. Start by clicking the Specify Parameters tab. Select the first date that a repayment is due then into the number of installments. Specify how often repayments are due, for example, every two weeks or every one month. Finally, select the interest type and enter the annualized interest rate. Click the Create Schedule Below button to automatically generate a schedule based on the information that you entered. Carefully review the schedule to ensure that it is accurate. If necessary, Make edits to the schedule to ensure that it exactly matches the schedule in your organization's database. For example, if PA2 automatically generates a schedule with repayment dates falling on a weekend or holiday, you may need to edit the schedule to have the correct payment dates. The repayment schedule will appear on the profile that is published on Kiva's website. Lenders will expect to receive repayments according to the schedule, so it is important that the schedule is accurate. After you have finished entering all of the information for Step 2, click the Save and Continue button to proceed to Step 3. On Step 3, click the Choose File button and select the photo or video of the borrower on your computer. The photo or video must clearly show the face of the borrower. The photo or video will appear on the profile that is published on Kiva's website, and it is one of the most important components of the profile. A good photo can help a loan to fund more quickly. After you have finished uploading the photo or video, 
click the Save and Continue button to proceed to Step 4. On Step 4, start by selecting the Loan Representative. The menu will only include those loan representatives who have accounts in PA2. This field is optional, and PA2 will record the name of the staff member who posted the loan regardless of whether this field is used. Next, confirm that the setting for currency exchange loss coverage is correct. This setting is only applicable if you disperse loans in a currency other than US dollars. If you would like to change the setting, you can do so under the Account tab. Please see the PA2 manual for more information. Finally, review the privacy settings for the loan. By default, the borrower's given name will be displayed on Kiba's website. However, if you wish for the borrower to appear as anonymous, you can select that option here. Please note that anonymous profiles tend to fund more slowly. As a reminder, the borrower's family name will never be shared publicly. By default, the borrower's location will also be displayed on Kiba's website. However, if you wish to hide the borrower's location, click the blue Hide Location link. If the borrower's location is hidden, Kiba lenders will still be able to see the borrower's country. However, they will not be able to see the borrower's town or region. Once you have finished selecting all settings, click the Save and Continue button to proceed to Step 5. Step 5 is the final step in the process of posting a new loan. Thoroughly review all of the information you enter during steps 1 to 4 to ensure that it is accurate. If you find an error, correct it by clicking the Edit link in the relevant section. Once you have confirmed that all of the information is accurate, click the Publish button to submit the loan to Kiva. Please note that if any required information is missing, you will see a red error message and the publish button will not be available. That's it! You have now posted a new loan. Congratulations! Here's one more tip before we end this lesson. When posting a new loan, you can stop partway through the process and save the loan as a draft. When you click the Save and Continue button, PA2 saves a draft of the loan. Then, you can come back to PA2 at any time and click the Drafts link on the Home tab. You will see a list of all your drafts. Click the Open slash Review button to open a draft and continue where you left off. Now that you have completed this lesson, you should be able to use Kiva's partner admin system, known as PA2, to post a new loan for an individual borrower, and understand how the loan you posted in PA2 will appear when it is published on Kiva's website. Thank you for completing this lesson of the Kiva Partner Academy. We hope to see you again soon.